hey loves welcome or welcome back to my channel today guys i'll be checking out this interesting video from black conservative perspective and it's titled trans influencer claim to struggle dating due to masculinity crisis because men aren't being men you guys i'm super excited for this if i had to subscribe to this channel please consider subscribing give this video a massive thumbs up comment share and all that good stuff and without much ado let's see what this video is all about okay i want to add on to that like wait something you say that comes with age like as i'm getting older because i'm still 23 i feel like i'm i'm about to turn 24 but i feel like in the last year or so just like, 24 is like ever so changing when it comes to confidence Mainly because, like, compared to when I was, like, 21 or 22... Chase, why are you laughing? <laughs> Chase, why are you laughing? <laughs> he couldn't book? handle it. Well, Nothing. Sorry, he's laughing. Please I'm, continue. He's please laughing continue. at the chat. <laughs> Chase, 21, please, 22. Please continue. Yeah. How dare you, Chase? Please continue, as you were saying. Cool. Um, no, just, like, basically saying that, like... Oh, compared, my God. younger, like, let's say I'm wearing, like, a little black slip dress and, you know, like, a little wedge to the club with a YSL bag. That would make me feel pretty, but like as I'm getting older, it's like almost like when I cover up, it's like you feel more beautiful. But I guess that's something that comes with age, and like I feel like a lot of younger girls. Yeah, like in high school, you're just gonna want to wear what every other girl yeah, wears, like a yeah. crop top and like some booty shorts or whatever. Yeah. Can but, I specifically ask this to you? We totally don't have to speak about it if you're uncomfortable. But what age did you start identifying as a woman? Can I be honest? I have always known. Like I Big never knew the word for this. it. If I'm being honest, oh my like gosh. growing up. I didn't know what trans was. I didn't know it was a thing. So like anything that grasped onto femininity, that was me. All right, guys. So I'm going to apologize ahead of time before I get into this video because I'm not mm -hmm. sure if I'm going to be able to make it through this video without losing it. Okay. Uh, but I'm going to try my best. Okay. Oh, <laughs> my I God. 45 minutes laughing um before I got myself together to make this video. So I'm going to try my best <laughs> to keep it together okay <laughs> as we get through this video of this wow. trans influencer <laughs> who was interviewed by fox news apparently fox news had to intern do a, a project right they they are interviewing this trans influencer who um what, what, you know, what on the internet goes by the name of Gorlock the Destroyer. Okay? Oh my YouTube gosh. It's not me. Okay, that's the <laughs> name that this enough. person goes by on the internet. Oh it's not my me gosh. calling this person that. It's not me. I think this real person's name is Ali Lopez. Okay, and Ali is going to discuss how they're struggling to date because men aren't being <laughs> men. Okay, men aren't being masculine enough. There's a masculinity problem. Okay, so what we have here is. Wow a transgender influencer oh okay, my a, gosh i guess a, a I don't biological know if I make male it to... that is mm -hmm. transitioning into a woman and they're complaining about men not being masculine enough or men not being men and this is why they are struggling and it has it goes okay, to so... transition wow <laughs> I want to go ahead and get into this because um, again, this is this is fascinating stuff. We're living in uh, interesting times here. So, without further ado, let's uh, let's take a listen at the uh, project done by the Fox News intern here. I understand that, like to society, I guess to like the male gaze, if you want to call it or whatever it is. I know I'm not a ten. I know that I'm plus size. I know that there's so many other things wrong with me, blah, 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 et cetera. The list goes on. However, I carry myself and with such grace and, and light and with politeness. And I know what I bring to the table. Mm. Okay. But listen, here's the, the table. Though, right? Here's the thing. Okay. And I'm, I'm, I'm engaging in the argument. This is not a personal attack. I have nothing against this person. I'm engaging in the argument, okay? The subject matter here, okay? Now, you may bring a lot of things to the table, okay? But, you know, when you're dealing with straight men, one of the things that, you know, straight men, by definition, don't want bought to the table is a penis, okay? I'm just saying. <laughs> I'm just saying. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> straight, mm -hmm. <laughs> straight, straight, straight men don't want sausages brought to the table. 
This is a funny one. <laughs> I'm just keeping it. I'm just keeping it 100. I'm trying to help this person solve their dating problems, okay? This is what exactly. it is, okay? I'm <laughs> just trying to help this person. So you guys, this is the most funny video I have ever watched on the internet. I don't know what confidence he or she is talking about because this is one funny video and I don't even know how I'm going to get through to the ending of this video because the way black conservative perspective is laughing is going to make me lose it in this particular one. This is very hilarious and the way those guys on whatever podcast was laughing, I couldn't control myself because it's very funny. They couldn't hold it in. They couldn't help but laugh because this person right here is living in a very delusional cladded world and i don't even know if she can just look into the mirror and tell herself the truth that she doesn't look good but then we can know where to start solving the problem that we have right here on the internet because this is a problem that the whole world needs to solve let me know what you guys think about this video so far i'm really having a blast with this video and you guys let's continue watching so Look, I'm not saying that everything is wrong with this person. I'm pretty sure th this person has a beautiful soul, okay? They're a good, loving person who, you know, this person probably can cook, okay? So, you know, I I'm pretty sure this person is bringing, you know, some things to the table, okay? I wouldn't even be as negative as, as, as this person's being about it. Um, but <laughs> I just want to say that that's a big one, right? You can't understate, you know, the... Um, genitalia Mitch match okay i'm just saying like that th there's there's always going to be that there now again i'm not sure if this person got the operation got the snip snip the battle scars but regardless you know it, it's not gonna be the real thing okay regardless of if you get surgery so th there's always gonna be something there that you know you just can't really make up for if your target market is straight men okay i'm just saying okay? I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> legitimately you know help this person and, and respond to what they're saying okay I, I'm, I'm just trying to keep it as professional as possible here bring to the table like, i feel like we live in a very sensitive society right now where it's almost like no babe like chill out i just see a lot of men expecting women in the relation especially when they're in committed relationships already like they expect the women to go above and beyond and like them just almost do nothing and I feel like it's something that I see a lot outside of social media. Well, I mean, I think men are, are raising their expectations, you know, like, you, you, you know, you, you do need to be fit, feminine, friendly, right? I'm just keeping it 100. I think men are starting to realize, you know what, if I can't get the things that I want, then you know what, I'm not going to waste my time with women who are wasting my time, right? Because women are raising their standards, okay? So why can't men raise their standards, right? When men raise their standards, oh, it's a problem. When women raise their standards, it's a plot. Oh, go get the best man, okay? Go girl, right? But when a man raises his standards, he's asking for too much, okay? So I don't see anything wrong with, you know, men raising their standards, um, especially if you are a man bringing a lot to the table. Now, this person says that, you know, men aren't bringing that much to the table, but they have, you know, high standards or whatever. I'm not sure exactly what this person is referring to because I'm not sure that the exact type of mm -hmm. men uh, mm -hmm. this person is attracting. So, I, you yeah. know, it's really hard for me to speak in this person's situation, right? I don't know what type of men are interested in this person. But I think generally speaking, men are <laughs> raising their standards, okay? And I think that that's a good thing, okay? Um, again, I'm not sure exactly what type of man she's dealing with that she claims is not holding up their end of the bargain. <laughs> but at the same time, you know, nobody's I'm just gonna hold that end in of this the person's bargain. situation. Um, the type of men that, that they're attracting, you know, probably is less likely to be bringing a lot of things to the table because I don't think that they have, you know, uh, as many options as you know most guys. Right? They may be seeking something a little bit different than mo what most guys are seeking on a dating market. I'm just saying social media i also love when like there is a little bit of like a a little bit of a gender role in a relationship i don't i don't i'm not a big fan of toxic masculinity or like whatever like the the norms i guess but i like when there's just like a little bit of that like i'm the man and i'm gonna take charge you know like because like why not you know i feel like a lot of boys need to start being boys though like when it comes to like the male roles because a lot of like hey i agree I agree. I think a lot of boys need to start being boys too, right? I think men need to start being men. 
you're not going to find any disagreement uh, from me on that, okay? But I think that applies across the board, okay? I think that applies across the board. You know, um, who knows if this person will, you know, really take that to heart, right? Um, but I think that what this person yeah. is saying is 100% true. Wow, you guys, what she, <clears throat> what this person is saying is actually true. Because in every relationship, gender roles are very, very important. And let me know what you guys think about this video so far. It's very hilarious. It's very hard to keep watching with a straight face without just cracking up. Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below. And let's wrap this video up, you guys. Okay. There's a lot of irony in that statement that this person is making. I'm not sure if they <laughs> realize that, but it really is. Men nowadays are expecting princess treatment. And it's like, okay, well, I want that energy just as much as, but just as bad as you do. For example, like, let's say I get a flat tire on the side of the road and we're together. Well, you, you better know how to change that tire. Like, you better know how to do these things. Because if I have to call my dad, <laughs> just like I said, no, no. Sorry. Sorry, babe. Wow. Well, you know, hey, um, I think it's great that your father is in your life and that he would help you out in that situation. God bless his soul. I sincerely mean that. I really do. No rush into anything. Enjoy your time being single because I feel like that's when you learn the most about yourself. Yeah, very much that. Because you always want to see what kind of person you are alone to see the way you're capable of once you are in a relationship. Yeah, so... Again, this individual uh, apparently is uh, struggling in, in the dating market in regards to, you know, men being men, okay, uh, and being masculine, which, you know, hey, I, I do think that, you know, society has kind of um, tried to engineer men to be more feminine, okay, to try to take on more feminine roles. Uh, yeah. However, a lot of that has uh -huh. to do with feminism, right? A lot of that is a uh -huh. response to Women feminism. Women are wanting to be that, men. You know, men are not accepting the double standards that come along with feminism. Like, for example, uh, men are not accepting women who don't want to be traditional, but expecting a man to be traditional, even though she doesn't want to be traditional, right? She wants traditional treatment mm. from a man, but she's not a traditional woman. And I guess you could say that this um, situation right here is kind of the same thing in which you have this person who is expecting traditional treatment from a man, but yet this person, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily characterize as a traditional woman, okay? Um, so I think that, you know, there's a lot of give and take here in regards to reasonable expectations in this person's situation about what, um, you know, this person should expect from a man, okay? Because I think that, you know, in this person's situation, just considering everything, the full context of what's going on here, uh, a man has to sacrifice a lot. You know, there's a lot of things that he's going to have to look over and look under and move around, you know, in order to... <laughs> <laughs> make make the situation work there's gonna be a lot of heavy lifting that is gonna be required in order to make this thing work in the long term okay that's just the reality of the situation so you i don't think this person can really expect too much from a straight man um you know it, when it comes to dating i'm just keeping it 100 you know i don't think this person should really have their expectations too high i don't think this person is in a position to demand you know, the things that they're demanding, okay? And, um, you know, it's unfortunate, but that's just my take on it, okay? That's just my take. I think that this person um, definitely can work on some things, but, you know, there's only so much they can do if, if your target dating market is is straight men. I, I don't think that's very much this person can do to, you know, bring more to the table to get that treatment that they yeah. expect, that traditional treatment that they're looking for, that masculine treatment, that masculine persona, uh, that they're looking for. So, hey, that's just my opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black... Wow, you guys, that was such an interesting video. And I can say to you that this is the most funny video the internet has ever produced. Let me know what you guys think about what the black conservative perspective said in this video. I totally agree with him. Aside from expecting men to treat you in a certain way or... 
for them to behave in a certain way how are you as a person behaving do you think you deserve that kind of treatment from men generally speaking and let me know what you guys think leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and i'll see you all in my next video bye guys